Welcome to my lesson tutorial. This is part one of a two-part tutorial that will take you through the steps for creating a lesson, one of the more complicated activity modules inside of Moodle. The first thing you'll need to do is turn editing on, like always. Lessons can be found in the Add an Activity menu because it's a program or a module that the students will interact with, not a resource that they'll simply read and absorb. I drop down the Add an Activity menu and choose Lesson. This tutorial is broken up into two parts because the Adding a New Lesson Settings page is rather lengthy. We'll cover this now and then we'll get into building the actual lesson in the second part of the tutorial. I'm going to name my lesson first as the writing process. Perhaps I'm an English teacher and I'd like to take through students through the steps of writing. I can enable a time limit for the lesson here by setting it in minutes. And then I must determine the maximum number of answers and branches. To summarize what this question mark here tells you about maximum number of answers and branches, I just want to say that you always should shoot high. If you limit yourself here for the number of answers or branch branches, you will only be able to allow, for example, in this case, four possible answers for each of your multiple choice questions and four possible branches for the lesson. We'll talk about what branches are in a few minutes, but I want to set this up to 10 just so that I have lots of room. I can come back and change that later. Our grading options include is if this is a practice lesson, yes or no? Will there be custom scoring for each question inside the lesson, yes or no? The maximum grade you can achieve in the lesson, I'm going to set this up to 100. Whether or not students can retake the lesson, and if they do, do they use the mean or the maximum as their final grade? You can also display an ongoing score so that if a student is in the middle of the lesson, they know how they're doing. Flow control allows students to move through the lesson at different paces or different rates or with different conditions. For example, allow student review allows them to go back and forth in the lesson to check answers. Maximum number of attempts is very important. This is the number of attempts they're allowed to have on a particular question before a penalty is begun to apply to the wrong answer. For example, if you have a multiple choice question with four options and the student chooses A but the answer is really B. If I set this to two, they get a second shot to choose B um, before a penalty is begun to apply. The action after the correct answer. Should it follow the path you choose in a lesson? Should it show an unanswered page or an unseen page to make sure they get through every page in the lesson? That's up to you. Lesson formatting. This will enable you to turn on a slideshow, to change the width or the background color. You can also determine whether or not you want them to show a progress bar, so sort of an indicator of how far you've gone through the lesson so far. You may password protect your lesson as well and disable or enable an available from and a deadline for when the lesson may be completed. The dependent on settings are very interesting for lessons. Only lessons can be set as conditional activities in Moodle 1.9. For example, if I wanted to be sure that this lesson wasn't completed before the lesson that precedes it was, I could select the lesson before it from this drop-down menu. Then I can determine if they must spend a certain amount of time on the lesson before it, if they just must complete the lesson before it, or if they have to achieve a certain grade on the lesson before it. Pop-up to file or web page allows you to link directly to a file or web page as part of a lesson. Now this is useful for a web quest or for other online tutorials. I always tell my teachers, why reinvent the wheel? If someone else has created a great, free, uncopyrighted online lesson, you can link to it directly from your lesson. Other it would, be allow, would allow you to link to an activity, display a number of high scores, or use this lesson settings as the default for all of the lessons you set up in Moodle. Of course, at the bottom, you have your common module settings, such as visibility and your grade category, etc. I'm going to click Save and Display now. And we have a blank lesson environment. Please see part two of my tutorial to see how to add question pages and branches to your own lesson.